What is going on guys? I am Jehovah. Welcome to a new video here uh, with a little game called The Mean Greens. Now I gotta give a little bit of a backstory. I was browsing through Reddit on r slash gaming and I saw a screenshot of this game in the multiplayer and I was like, what? It looks like some army men 3D shit, but with really good graphics and on a crazy colorful multiplayer map, I was just like, what the hell is this? And uh, the caption of the photo or something like that was like, uh, pretty sure I want to buy this. So I'm like, what the fuck? So I immediately start digging around. I find this on Steam at a very reasonable price and I got super excited. Uh, if you guys have followed me for a while, I've told the story a couple times probably. Like one of my biggest gaming memories was getting a PlayStation for Christmas. Years and years and years ago, a used PlayStation and a copy of Army Men 3D and... I just absolutely love the experience. It was a great game, um, and I've always kind of followed the Army Men series as it went. I wasn't into the Sarge's Heroes as much as the original Army Men 3D for whatever reason. I don't know. Call me weird. I don't know, but I saw this. I got really excited. Multiplayer, updated graphics, obviously. It looks great. Uh, I've played a little bit by myself, and uh, it's pretty fun, but uh, we're going to check it out. All right, guys. We are loading into the map Tabletop Wars. Now, to be honest, I've never played this map. I played a couple of the other ones, but just look how sick it is. See, we're in like a library, but yet we're, it's not a library. Now, as you can see here, you can scroll through. There's sniper, shotgun, uh, all kinds of different weapons, and it's really cool. Once you use the ammo, um, basically it goes into a cooldown. Oh, that would have been nice, wouldn't it? Let's see if we can get this kill. Oh. Got him. All right, there we go. Got our first kill. Now, another one, another thing I want to say about this. So this just looks like it's kind of eliminate the enemy team. Yeah, as you can see the objective in the top left. This is just kind of a, a default, you know, TDM variant. But holy shit, I didn't even see him. Um, yeah, this is just like a basic default uh, TDM variant. But I do want to say that, do I have a grenade? I do. There's a grenade. Ah, didn't quite tag him. God, I'll, I'll finish my thought here in a second. This is just basic TDM, but there is actually a lot of depth in this game. I was playing a match uh, the other day where... Oh, I'm gonna die. Damn, I gotta get my rocket launcher out. I'm just getting wrecked. I was playing a match the other day where you're on a birthday cake. Oh, man, he should have died. You're on a birthday cake, and you actually have to... Use your flamethrower to light all the candles on the birthday cake, and it's a round-based offense-defense thing, and it is pretty insane. This guy is coming. No! Oh, okay, I am just getting wrecked. I really should try to get some kills here. Um, that would be pretty cool if I got some kills, right? Dude, this rocket guy is a bitch. Okay, here, let's, let's just abuse the rocket as well, then. Oh my god, he's a professional! Wait, that was a new guy. That was a guy named Lulz. Okay, alright, we've got this. No web- oh, no ammo! Apparently there's a cooldown even after the respawn. I didn't know that. I'm just- this is the best live gameplay you will ever see. Um, some people are obviously already pretty good at this game, unfortunately. But, it's still very, very fun. Reminds me of Army Men 3D, obviously, and uh, it's just, it's really well done, to be honest. I, I've really, the graphics are just insane for what it is. I mean, obviously, it's not supposed to be hyper-realistic or anything like that, so I'm really liking it. I really want to stream some of this. These fucking rocket kids, I swear to tits. Um, I really want to stream some of this and, and play with some viewers. I think that would be a lot of fun. I showed it to Speedy, and he didn't give any promises but I would really like to play with some of the guys from the crew oh that would have been nice there we go oh sniping's pretty fun in this game but people are pretty fast and it's more difficult than what I thought it was gonna be I have a phone call that I don't have time for I gotta play army men let's see if I can knock this guy's head off there we go headshot baby that was fancy. All right. Let's see. That was not good. All right. Can we spray him down? Nope. He got him. Okay, though. That's good. Where is this? Where is this coming from? I don't know. 
Got him. Where's this guy coming from? Oh, he's close. He's close. Ah, oh, come on, teammate. Holy shit. Dude, he's so close. No, there's so many people. Damn it. I was trying to get out of there, switch to a shotgun. We're picking up our kills a little bit here. But not enough, unfortunately. All right, let's see if we can get a rocket kill. There we go. Okay, we got that rocket kill. And you kind of have to get used to the uh, switching weapons and getting used to, like, how uh, how the cooldowns work and everything. The shotgun's pretty good whenever I'm using it correctly. Oh, my God. Okay, we got him. No! The shotgun, I, I really like the shotgun. I should probably get more used to it. Oh god. There we go, okay. And predict these guys? Nope. Guy coming here? Oh no, Ah, oh. You kinda have to lead your shot, it's like there's a little bit- Oh god. Oh god. There's a little bit of a delay. Um, in between when you click and the shotgun shot it feels like. Unless it's just the reload that I'm not quite used to yet. I lose, oh no. This game is too much fun though. Really enjoying it. And then it goes back to the lobby, you get to vote on the next map and everything, and it's just really well done. There's quite a bit of servers up to my surprise, quite a bit of people playing, and I hope it stays like that. So, so I think we're gonna play one more match here. Now I wanna play Toy Box Assault. I think I remember the Toy Box map being pretty amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and ready up here. Unfortunately, we're playing some uh, some pretty decently skilled people, but I guess that makes it fun too. If it wasn't challenging, then would it be fun? You know, I, I don't know. Yes, this is the map that I was thinking about. So yeah, there's a little toy uh, race car track down there with cars going around it, and you're actually really high up, so if you fall off the map, you die, but just, just look at everything. I forget that I can fly around, uh, but I just, I love colorful, bright games, and I also love games that aren't afraid to kind of take themselves not so seriously and that's obvious oh god that's obviously this game I got that grenade kill hell yeah not bad I mean it's an army men game so it's easy for them to go along that route but I just love the cartoony playful theme of this I guess if you will okay we got come on we got a double spray there Do I have another grenade yet I do there we go, and a grenade kill. We're doing pretty good this time. Doing pretty good. And as you can see, this is like a neutral, I think it's a, I think it's just the top up there. It's like capture the hill, king of the hill, whatever you want to call it. Um, it just stays in that position. And that guy just got a double rocket kill because he is OP as shit. Angela Merkel. So it looks like you have to be the first one to have three minutes of total capture time. My phone is just going off like crazy. Now that I'm recording a video, it hasn't gone off all day. Damn, we just got wrecked. Completely wrecked. But that's alright, we're gonna win this. I can feel it. This is a good map to snipe on once you get up there on that hill. Alright, where's this guy? That car scared me. I took a double take. Can we get that up there? No, I need my friends! Damn it! It's hard, once they're in the hill, it's hard to regain control because they can... I mean, obviously they've got the height advantage and everything, so... Damn it! And they keep coming from behind me. I guess I need to check my back before I run up in there because that has happened to me far too many times now and that's getting pretty frustrating. We don't want that to happen. Eat that grenade. Alright, I'm fucking... Yep, there he is! They just keep, they're playing it perfectly. They're leaving a couple people up in there and everybody else they're bringing back into the flank. So let's, maybe let's just try to play the distance game real quick. Can I get up on top of that? I don't think I can. But let's see if we can just pick some heads off maybe? I don't really know where to play from and not get noticed though. Um, it's gonna be pretty scary. Yep, there's a guy. We hit him. Oh, See that, that's... I did that for demonstration purposes. That's that's what happens if you fall off the map, guys. Um, yeah, but damn, look at this. Let's just take a second to appreciate the fan and every like 
this, the level design and everything is just too amazing. And once again, I'm making a video sound like a sponsored video, but it's not. Uh, I just really enjoyed this game and wanted to share. Did I shoot that and not get a kill? I think I did. No, I didn't. I didn't get the rocket off. I was going to say, I should have got that kill at least. Oh, God. Dude, every time from behind. These guys, they are professional army men players. They got this shit on lock. I started off pretty good. Let's see if I hit him. Yeah! Dude, the rocket launcher is so sick. They might even... I wonder if they'll tweak... Oh, my God. I wonder if they'll tweak the, R the RPG, the rocket launcher. Bazooka is probably what it would be called in, in the army men uh, sense. But uh, I wonder if they're going to... I wonder if they're going to tweak that a little bit, because it may be just a little bit OP. Maybe put a little bit longer of a respawn time, a cooldown or whatever on the rocket reload. I don't know, but if you guys enjoyed this video, please show it some love. Let me know in the comment section below if you want to see some more of it, and if you want to see me stream it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think it's a lot of fun, and it's really a, a nostalgia thing for me, and uh, brings back a lot of memories, and I'm really liking it. So anyways, guys, I love you, and I'll talk to you later.